What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today we're actually bringing you guys a brand new Destiny 2 video. So today we're actually going to be covering some of the stuff what wasn't shown in the Vidoc as well as some bits and pieces what were in the Vidoc. But regardless, jumping into this video. So first up, we're actually going to be showing you some of the new exotics as well as new weapons which was released on one of the Bungie websites. Now as you guys can see, we have a load of really cool stuff here. It looks like all armor classes or sets of classes will actually get a pair of exotic gauntlets you guys can see on the bottom left hand corner you've got the titan one the second one down in the second row you've obviously got the warlock and then the bottom of the fourth row you've actually got the hunter gauntlets there as well now these all do look pretty exotic you've obviously got the weapons as well which look like they are going to be related to the brand new gambit game mode especially that sword in the top right hand corner i am really really intrigued about and cannot wait to actually see what that does it looks different to any other sword that we've actually had in destiny but regardless some pretty cool weaponry here let me know in that comment section below what one you're actually looking forward to using the most next up guys we're going to actually be covering the armor sets what we saw now this is some of the armor which you can earn in the brand new game mode so first up we've got reaper so clears waves and slay larger enemies you get covered in like this uh, green snake you've also got invader so hunt your opponents and steal their moats that's red You've got Collector, so gather all moats and send blockers, that is the white. And then you've got Sentry, counter invaders and protect your bank, and that is yellow. So really awesome and definitely a real good way to stand out in the brand new game mode. And obviously people will actually be able to see who you are when you spawn in before you actually start the Gambit match. If uh, you've got four invaders, then the other team better be worried because that is a pretty scary thing to come across especially if all invaders are pretty darn good. Next up, we've actually got the brand new Pinnacle Weapons. So first up, as you guys can see here, we've actually got the Recluse. So kills with any weapon improve this weapon's damage for a short time. This is actually going to be the Crucible quest. Next up, we've got Oxygen SR3. So Dragonfly deals more damage based on the number of precision hits made beforehand. Again, looks like a really, really awesome weapon. And the perk on it sounds absolutely mean. I can imagine this being very good in PvE. And that is the Vanguard weapon. And then last but not least, for the Gambit, we've got 21% Delirium. So kills increase this weapon's damage until it is stowed or reloaded. So again, a really, really nice light machine gun there, which I cannot wait to get my hands on all of these. Next up, we have got the gameplay updates. So we've got power surge bounties. Annual pass owners can see the drifter to catch up to the power of their fellow guardian. You've also got iron banner return. So Destiny 2 owners can follow Lord Saladin back into battle in Crucible to claim new rewards and exotic weapons and armor annual pass owners can add more of the best weapons to their collections now i'm not too sure if everyone will be able to obtain every single exotic or piece of armor depending on what edition of destiny you guys have whether you've got the standard edition or the brand new content or even the annual pass but uh, we will have to wait and see but regardless it does seem very exciting for this brand new update We've also got this, so obviously talking about Gambit Prime and some of the new stuff in the game. So we've got Lore, Complete Bounties to learn more about the Nine and their place in the universe. You've got Pinnacle PvE, so drop into Chaos and fight your way through challenging enemies and earn gear. So unlock armour and perks that will make you the ultimate competitor in Gambit Prime. So this does seem very exciting. I personally cannot wait for Gambit Prime and all of the stuff that actually comes with it. It does seem like a very, very exciting game mode. And as you guys can see with the screenshot, it is obviously linking the 9 as well as the Drifter. So very, very awesome. Next up, we've actually got some changes for grenade launchers and rocket launchers. So PvE damage is increased by 25%. Reserve ammo increased on most grenade launchers. In most cases, grenade launchers gain free rounds in reserves, but this amount may vary based on the perks you have, and magazine perks and mods no longer affect ammo reserves. So pretty awesome, it does seem like the grenade launchers are going to be extremely useful in PvE now, especially with the rocket launch changes. So PvE damage is increased by 60-65%, to 65%. exotic rocket launchers have had their damage tuned separately, 
cluster bomb. So damage is reduced by 80% for cluster bombs. So this lost damage was moved to the rocket launcher's main projectile, as noted above in the damage increase. The reason they did change this is because rocket launchers seemed very potent and people would rely on cluster bombs to actually get most of their kills when in fact it should actually, of course, be the rocket launcher itself. Next up on their blog post we did actually get this brand new emote here. So uh, this is obviously going to be in the Eververse store that seems really awesome. And then we also did get some of the new stuff actually coming in Eververse store as well. So again, really exciting. Some of these items do look really cool and cannot wait to get my hands on every single one of them. And then last but not least, guys, we did get some of the resolved issues for the Destiny 2 update 2.2.0. If you guys wanted to check them out, I will leave a link to the blog post in the description below or you guys can pause the video here, but there is a load of changes. But yes guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. If you enjoyed, a like would be much appreciated as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. But as always, peace out and I hope you enjoyed this video.